things you didn't know about the common clownfish. It's the most beautiful and famous fish of the entire underwater world. I'm talking about... Nemo! Exactly, the common clownfish. Get ready to learn some fascinating facts about him. Number one, the dad becomes the mom. If you grew up thinking that Nemo's dad was male, sorry to tell you, you've been fooled your whole life. What are you talking about? I'm just speaking facts, Marlin. Something surprising about the clownfish is that it's a sequential hermaphrodite, which means it can change sex, but only under certain circumstances. When the female of the group dies, the dominant male switches sex to produce eggs and thus preserve the species. He can even breed with his own children. See? I was right. No, not exactly. Okay, okay, maybe it's different in the film, but now you know that's how it is in real life. Number two, it's not a good swimmer. I'll tell you a funny secret about the clownfish. It can't swim well. I can swim fine, Dad, okay? Oh, come on, Nemo. You call this swimming well? Sorry, friend, but the pictures speak for themselves. The truth is that the clownfish spends its whole life hiding among sea anemones because venturing into the ocean would be quite an odyssey with its poor swimming patterns. Just look at those clumsy movements. It can't hide it. All right, bud, no need to be ashamed. It happens to everyone. Number three, girls rule. In the clownfish world, there's no king of the hill, but a queen. You heard it. There's a strict hierarchy established in this species. On top is the female in charge of laying the eggs, then her husband, the strongest male, and finally other young males. This happens because the female is the biggest, strongest, and most aggressive. What do you think, Coral? Does it feel good to be the boss? It is awesome. Number four, it lives with the danger. Nemo, who better than you to tell everyone where the clownfish lives? <laughs> what he actually meant was sea anemones, plant-shaped animals that cling onto rocks. So far, so good. If it wasn't because they're full of poisonous tentacles that sting most fish, but don't worry, these two get along well. Since the clownfish scares away possible intruders and parasites that could harm the anemone, and in return, it protects it from predators. How's that possible? I'll tell you next. Number five, it's immune to poison. Can you imagine having an invisible cloak that protects you from danger? Well, the clownfish has one just like it, but made of mucus. According to some experts, the skin of this animal is covered in a slimy layer with a special chemical composition different from other fish. This makes the sea anemone not recognize it as potential food. An impressive costume, right? Thanks to that, this buddy can play happily and wander around this carpet without any problem. I guess we'll go back home and uh, brush up on the anemone. Number six, they eat everything, even meat. Wait, wait, by this, I don't mean that the clownfish is a fierce predator, but that its diet partially includes other animal bits. Yes, shocking, I know. Eh, kinda. Actually, this species does feed on algae and zooplankton, its main food, but shares dinner with the sea anemone as good friends. This means that when its house catches and devours prey, it leaves the leftovers for its guests to enjoy a true feast. Whoops, looks like you technically eat your relatives, Marlin. Oh, no. Number seven, it's a devoted father. If you saw the movie Finding Nemo, you know that Marlin is a model father. It's okay, Daddy's here. It's no coincidence. This is true in real life. When it comes to bringing babies to the ocean, the male clownfish is responsible for preparing and cleaning the nest so the females can lay the eggs. Once it's done, he fertilizes them and stays to take care of them until they hatch. Considering there are hundreds, it must be a hard yet satisfying job. Right, Marlin? Well, that's fascinating. Number eight, they speak through clicks. Yes, clownfish can communicate. Of course, they don't do it in English. Hello. Nor whale. Sorry, this is not whale. They do it by clicking. A few years ago, an investigation found out that clownfish clacks its jaws together to make sounds. This is done as a warning before attacking when it spots an intruder, or also to send a love message when seducing its mate. What's amazing is that this is the first time an animal has been shown to communicate in this way. Number 9. It's not a friendly clown. 
Although its name may sound funny, this little pal isn't amused by anything. Quite the opposite, it gets easily upset. This is some kind of practical joke, it's not funny! And I know funny! I'm a clownfish! Relax, Marlin. The clownfish is a territorial species, so if someone gets into its house, it becomes quite aggressive and fierce to defend it. This worsens after laying eggs, to the point that they can attack divers if they get too close to their anatomy. Believe me, you don't want to get close. For a clownfish, he really isn't that funny. Number 10. The Price of Fame As you can imagine, after the movie Finding Nemo, the clownfish became extremely popular. Really? Yes, buddy. Your success was so overwhelming that every child wanted the same pet at home. Unfortunately, this meant increasing its catch to sell it and destroying a large number of reefs, its natural habitat. To make matters worse, after buying them, many children flushed their clownfish down the toilet, hoping to free them. I don't believe this. Disney, Pixar, what are you teaching children? Oh no. Poor little guy. The clownfish is just fascinating. What did you find most interesting? Tell me in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. And if you want to know more fun facts about the underwater world, watch this and this video.